So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're just waiting for uh, a couple of teams to join. We did have one leave the server. We have one team to join and it should be all good to go for this evening. Hope you're all doing well. Let's go to the desk here. Lovely in the... It's a little, it's a little humid. A little humid in this area. I love the, I love the setting. I love the Russian uh, computers. Feel, it makes me feel great. Scientists. Mad scientists? I don't know. Mad coders? People who didn't play well, well in the previous rounds? This is, uh, this is what their... This is what their room looks like. This isn't a room of champions. Your room look like this? You gotta... You gotta get a grip. You gotta get into it. You gotta... Focus. You need that violence, speed, momentum to win these games. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For those of you who are new, this is the Awesome G... Awesome GG. Playtest for PUBG. That is a mouthful. This is the awesome playtest for PUBG. We're running with uh, four-man squads, 20 teams, 80 players. Be sure to follow us on Twitter to sign up for the next event, as well as joining our Discord. All information is down below in the panels. Be sure to check them out and get involved in the co conversation to find that ideal, that, that Goldilocks game mode needed to make PUBG a successful competitive game. Make it maybe even put some eSports into there. Who knows? But it's gonna be a long process. We wanna find out, we wanna work with the community to figure out and polish and tweak and adjust all the settings of the game to find out what is the best game mode and what also works for you guys, the spectators. What is interesting to watch? What can be improved? There will be two um, surveys you are welcome to fill out at the end of today's round. And uh, I'm just going to double check if we have the last team in, and that is it. Okay. And we're going to go alive. I believe that is it. Should be ready to go. There you go, yeah. Join the conversation. Hope make PUBG a great game. I have absolutely been enjoying playing this game. From my perspective, it, it there is that that itch that it's it's been filling. It's 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 a great I'm I'm really enjoying it, honest. It's a every situation is different. Every every time you play the game, it's it's always gonna be something new. Some new engagement you need to try and look out for it. You get surprised. This game is full of surprises. It's like a like a box of chocolates. It's it's forest gumped, this game. You never know what you're going to get. It's going to be a taste of caramel. You're going to find that sweet sniper. Or you're going to get licorice. I don't like licorice, so that's that's like my, my worst thing. Salt. Salt and nuts. <laughs> Salt, nuts, and chocolate should not go together. But yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are live for round two today. And I'm excited to see who gets this one. So congratulations to... That was Team Seek last did manage to claim the victory in the previous round. Let's go here. Let's see how this plane is going to be going on in. Not quite sure. Can't see it. Probably going to be a southern plane going up to the north. And we'll be on our way shortly. 80 players. Just what I want to see. 80 players in the server. 20 teams. Oh, it feels great. All coming together. Love it when the plan comes together. Still not sure where this plane... Oh, it is spawning in right above the island. You can go into the game right there. You can, you can barely see this black dot right above my crosshair there. My dot. So it will be doing a um, flight pan. So straight across. Northeast to southwest. Probably will see a similar bail. I want, I'm curious to see if anyone will be pushing the military base. If they find a vehicle in time, they could potentially just go and, you know, grab some loot. But on several occasions, it's happened that you're like, you know, no one's going to go for the military base. No one's got it. Easy, easy pickings. We're going to gear up. We're going to be MLG. We're going to have level three everything. We're going to have eight times score. We're going to have snipers. We're going to have guns. And then you get there. You arrive. The mist clears. You see the airport in the distance as you come over the crest from Novorepnoye. And there it is. Doors open. Players on the roof, 
waiting to pounce, snipe you, take you out. And then you die. Because they were there first. And you wonder how? How did it happen? But another hot spot, of course, is Georgia Pool. We'll see where people decide to go. I think, I think it should be just in range for people to go that way. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The round two is underway for awesome play test this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Battle Royale. 20 teams, 80 players, battle it out. There we go. We have a big start here. A lot more bailing out early on in this game than we saw before. Apparently going to be going for the bunkers. Not quite sure yet. And Georgia Pool is going to be completely out of the question, I believe. Unless they do, they're, they're, there's a car spawn in this area. There is one just here. It'll be curious to see. So I, I miscalculated the trajectory of that plane. So there will be a couple of players going for the military base. Curious to see. We do have uh, Die 4 going for Novorepnoya. Uh, one team, two teams bailing out, three teams, four teams bailing out over the military base. And four AFKers, it seems. No, they're going to go for Primorsk. And Safe and his team. Team 1 will be going to a very, you know, a wide open military base here. A couple of the school. We have a relatively large portion of people going for Yasna Polana. But uh, I'm not I'm not sure if there's going to be any engagements for a while. See them all in the distance looking like ants. All looking like ants, people. Well, welcome back to the stream. You guys are doing well. My name is Mr. Falls, by the way. Nice to have you on board today's cast. And uh, we are looking for casters to join in. Um, we are tr still trying to work a way out to have multiple spectators in the game, but I'm sure that will be added soon. It is a work in progress, and right now it is just one observer allowed in the game currently. We have a Lawi Team campaign here in Milta Power Plant. The majority of the teams are in the center of the circle, but they do have plenty of time if they are outside. Uh, Country Kitty's team... I don't know, there we do have two teams here right in this spot we could have some hot action kicking off right in the beginning let's go to ant-man's art see what's going on from a uh, team eighth world not sure uh, how he's gonna deal with this right now they seem to be widespread out and my art knarpkinator one team right there pistols and uzis but those uzis can be lethal the micro uzi but they're going to be pushing up to this uh, military compound just in the well not military compound this little farm but i think they're going to find a surprise here with um the hexagon boys already looting this area not many people engaging each other right now seems to be one here oh no around the raid killed koreaboo a well, team kill going on early in the round. That's not going to be beneficial to them later on. When things get hot, the momentum picks up, and the violence increases. You never know. It seems to be the usual slow start before we start picking up momentum in the game. Of course, is uh, what we want to see. We want to see some action. But I am, I, am, I am actually amazed. This is so cool to see where people are going. You, you, you never know where people go. And, and you... Only when you look at this spectator tool, do you realize how close some teams are to one another. We have other team and Vodka Bear team right here. Uh, it seems that they have looted the bunkers. And uh, that's other team have looted the bunkers. They are going for this warehouse right here. I think a doozy has spotted them. He could be aware that they are in that those buildings over there. Drugsy with the VSS Ventura Scar L loadout. And Linebeck with the pump action shotgun, I believe. They're gonna try and loot this little village, pick up a little bit more gear. Seem to be running with uh, level one backpacks so far. And only pistols, so not ideal for them to start off here. The question is, have other team spotted Vodka Bear pushing 
those apartments over there. Seems to be not much. There it is. Harspin knows that they are at those buildings. Trying to get a little bit of a better vantage point. Now, does he have the equipment to try and win this engagement? Not sure. That seems to be an iron sight on his gun right there. No, oh, red dot sight. No other engagements going on right now except for this one, which could potentially go down. Other team did not do so well. They got pinned down on that bridge, on that western bridge between the military base and the mainland, or the main island. Lineback and Harspin doing a game of ping pong, re reviving each other to try and make their way through. And I think it was the mistake that Rela and Drunksy decided to go for the military base, pick up some extra loot, unexpecting uh, Team 1 to be there. That's Safe's team. It's great to see a lot of uh, people from the battlefield. From battlefield backgrounds participating in this uh, cup. It's very nice. Seems to be filling a, a great a void that's currently missing in Battlefield 1. I believe Maesteris is trying to pick up Drunksy there. Tags him a little bit, but not enough to put him down. Now the engagement has started. The presence has been confirmed by the gunshots. And uh, you no know, other team have slightly less co cover. They won't be able to maneuver as easily to push up and like, engage them. But I think um, Vodka Bear team could, uh, could win this if they play it smart and use these walls to their advantage. Still no further engagements. A little bit here, potentially in George Pool. Let's stick with this uh, small contextualization going on. Is that even a word? Can I say contextualization? Alright, thanks Francine, thanks. Contextual it's, it's a word now. We're going to be falling back. Rilla moving with his whole team to the mansion where we have the OG Pepes. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be much of a threat considering they did team kill one of their own members. Let's see how they do this. Rilla deciding to turn away seeing that the doors are open. Kinsey was ready to pounce. There was M416. That uh, confrontation. Not people really not trying to go for a confrontation. I think they are going to play it safe. They want to get that higher ranking there. Um, Drunksy's team. They did. They. They. I believe they were one of the first teams to be eliminated in round one. But let's see. There seems to be quite peaceful here. You have the We Team campaign looting this power plant. Possibly got some decent loot. Let's have a look and see what they got. You know, SKS a pan. Level 3 helmet, camouflage j jacket. Be fairly decent. But yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome playtest. We're on round two. Feel free to join the discussion and sign up for next week's uh, playtest. The links are down in the description. Feel free to join the Discord if you want to have a chat, discuss about changes. We'll be releasing two surveys, one for spectators and one for Participants who participated in playtest one, please feel free to fill out your thoughts and opinions and suggestions of what could be improved to help bring this game towards a better level for both players and spectators. And uh, of course, uh, the game does not offer mod support yet, which means we have to work with the parameters we currently have, and that is uh, adjusting the loot spawn so we can choose snipers um the crate drops salt rifles smg so on and so forth we can change those parameters a little bit up to three times more likely to spawn um, we have the red zone of course which is still implemented um first person third person so uh, be be sure to check it out we are running this at 100 percent vanilla settings right now What's going on here? A quadruple, quadruple D. Not sure if he's a. Uh, line he did. Flashing. Not sure why. We have this team. 
That city is locked down. We do have some movement here. We have two teams in, uh, I guess, Naya Polana. They don't seem to be engaging each other yet. Still looting up. Getting ready for the fight. Vodka Bear team have decided to move in towards the center of the circle. OG Pepe's Lovitim Campagne are moving in. Daifia are here in Novorepnoye, still gearing up. I think uh, one quick pit stop here from the uh, uh, Team 1. Hexagon have uh, moved in towards the southern part of Gatka. Still no chance of engagements. Could have. We do have uh, sh shots going out here with, uh, with us. Biznaz? Some shots going off. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure if there has been any engagements as of yet. We took a little bit of damage from falling. I'm not sure. A door opened the wrong way. Hit his face. You don't know. I think once we, once we get this first circle locked in and we start to have some movement, I think we'll have a lot of fighting here on the west side of the map. It seems to be where the majority of the team is. I'm not sure if the circle is complete completely random, if it does uh, pull towards where there's the least amount of players, or towards the majority. But uh, I'm curious to see. Safe is going to be going for a boat here. He does have a suppressed sniper rifle. That's a, you know, that's a little bit of an advantage to have in this game. No boats available for them to to sail away to the mainland. Two teams here, Donkey. Doki, excuse me. Pick up a little bit of more gear. One team is a product. NV from Fear of the Four. Doing some last minute looting. Not minding the circle. Not much damage done in the first circle, so uh, a lot of people do tend to, you know, risk and stay out. Let's see how this circle goes. It is going fairly linear where it goes. But I am curious to see if this engagement will happen here on the bridge. Canadian infidel. <laughs> Could they set up an ambush on the on the bridge? We do have a boat. I'm sure they're gonna hear that boat from this position. Canadian infidel, does he does he have what it takes? If it's gonna be you know, playing it smart, not going for the bridge. We do have uh Daifir over here. It's a rhymes. You know, I'm a poet. I, I didn't even know it. Let's see how this uh let's, let's see how this breaks down. I believe this is uh a, a North American team, I'm not sure. We do not have regions on the sign-up sheet. A little bit quiet here. We might have a conflict. Being here, Doki. Getting some shots taken on. I'm going to be running to the vehicle. Teammates. The powerful SKS coming in from Dradon. He does have to reload. Gamers for life. Going to have to take cover here behind this small... Shrubbery. Not much information for him to try and pick up the target. I think they're trying to destroy the tires of the vehicle. Oh, he does get taken out there all the way from Boxic with the SKS. A mean distance. Let's have a look at his perspective. Running with the 8X. Managed to see the edge of his body there by that tree. Toast being a little bit aggressive here, trying to get right into their faces. They know that this bridge could be an option for them to cross. Love the iron sight in the way of the 2x scope, but there's not much we can do about that right now. Blasted keeping down the... bringing the rain with the SKS. Yepline and Doki. Yepline is down as well. Doki has to either stay, co stay in cover... He should go for his revive, but the way, uh, Fear the Four, I believe. The way Fear the Four are so well spread out. It's going to be very difficult for Doki to try and go for it. There he's going for the sprint, trying to get into Yepline. Just makes it at the clutch 
moment. With 10% health remaining for Yep line. We do have some kills coming in right now here on the bridge. I believe that it was safe. They are right in the middle of the red zone. Safe getting uh, one kill there on Canadian Infidel. And uh, Chaz, Chaz Bay getting taken out by Lagster. But now the red zone coming in. This is not going to be very comfortable for them to try and stay outdoors here. It's a, you know, it's not a high risk that you'll be taken out, but it's enough. And a med kit right there. And I think there was a suppressor on the table. But uh, it seems that they are all alive here. Safe's team. Gaming cookie. Did escape all the way here. So he's the last remaining survivor of his squad. As you could st stay alive here. And play very passively. Try and get points for his team. The old fashioned way. But look how aggressive these guys are pushing up. They're trying to take out Doki. I think that's a uh, fear of the four. Taking out 76 dead core. Dradon is the one with the shots right now. If I could just uh, you know, see him. There's the extraction coming into play right now. Seem to be very well organized. And uh, two shots landed on Sad Pig. They are in the reds and the blue zone. They're going to be taking a little bit of damage, uh, but not too much to make it difficult for them. Toast wanting to go for this kill. Really keen to pick up these kills, get the gear. He does. I think he has enough uh, resources to pick this up and get the gear needed. It's a, it is a little bit of a gamble, but he's struggling to get up these rocks, which is, uh, you know, the biggest enemy in this game, the rocks. Managed to stay out. Dreadon locked out. Sad pig is down. Fear the four. Swarming. Trying to get this last player. Doki reviving sad pig. But getting tagged. Not a great position for that revive to come through the windows. Providing windows of opportunity. Oh, but that shot coming in with it. Suppressed M16. Taking on the pad coming in as well. This flank coming in from behind, but Toast is down. Toast manages to take him out and. Man, that was quite of a nice play from the Fear of the Four guys. Drayton, unfortunately, taking damage, falling out of this. Well, let's see here. We got Kurusa and Naduzi, the Vodka Bear team, having one engagement in this area, taking out the VTM campaign, two of them at least. Uh, Vegas Palace and Pappy Black Friday. Pappy Black Fide. Not sure. I decided to move out. Full squad intact. Anyone else outside the circle? We do have Gaming Cookie, the remaining member from his team. Safe's team here as well. We do ha we'll have a fight coming into play right now. Who has the high ground? Pan Sardo is not particularly looking. Oh. Not good for uh, the hexagon boys here in the open as the red zone comes into play. and deciding to make a run for it. They're going to be spread out quite thin, though. Now, we'll see Villain see them. He does see them running. He's going to tr potentially engage them. I'm not sure if he wants to risk it. The circle does have a minute before it starts to reduce in size. So he could wait out and just follow them and, until they're in a more suitable position to engage with. But it's looking to be a, a little bit of a chase here. And they will possibly engage at these yellow houses here. Let's see how they hold down this. And we have Sir Chappers taking point. They know they're going to be in these houses. Will they be able to win this fight. Going stealth mode, sneaky sneaky right now. And if just so you know, shoes or no shoes, it is the same volume, just different characteristics. So uh, that myth is over, confirmed, and done by the devs. Let's see what else is going on here. We have uh, Arspen and Rella.
Umbrella is still alive. We got other team alive and kicking. Especially could flip this car. We have a crate drop coming in right now. Prolosco, is he the last remaining team member from his team? Not great for him. He does have some decent gear, though. UMP in a car. But recently, he has not been landing his shots with that car. The car 98. And but are we had Rodney from Vodka Bear team trying to pick up this vehicle driving by. Oh, we got one knocked out. Master is taking out Ant-Man's art with M16. And there he is, Master is grabbing that kill for Vodka Bear team. We'll have to continue running, but this is a lot of plays. 63 players for this tiny circle. This is relatively small. Or what it is? We do have another engagement here at the river. J quadruple D could potentially revive his squad mate. Dead man in the sea, oh, gold man in the sea from straight up Pachinki. Managed to take one out. Nuclear with the Scar L. Pro kill getting downed there. I think Crazy Cracks and the straight up Pachinki boys will be fine. Might pick up this kill. Dabbles is uh, relatively nearby, but deciding to play a little bit safe. Some sniper shots. Seems like we have two teams just spread out here over this area. Nuclear Shiznaz trying to pick up Crazy Klaxon. Managed to take down uh, Dabbles from Team 8th World. And that is a uh, one hell of a phasing master. And uh, the hexagon buys, they did, it seems that they did not engage one another at the yellow houses. They were just running. But now we could have a fight here in the middle between hexagon and... Um, what team is that? Oh, goodness. I think it's a Feast of PUBG. Feast of PUBG and hexagon. And they do have the team coming out of the blue zone right now. Gonna pick up. We do have shots coming in here. We have a uh, safe. We have team one engaging to a fight right now. Lagzer and another teammate has been downed. They don't need to panic so much. There's plenty of time for them to uh, pick each other up. Might as well keep watch as safety picks up. Now the momentum is just far too much um, action right now for me to figure out. We got Prolosco all alone. He managed to down one player. We have a couple uh, players here in the apartment buildings locking that down. Other team using the hill to decide and run in a little bit later. We do have a fight here going on by the river still. Is Ven using this building as cover. It's the watchtower. Unfortunately not. I'm unable to... to see... what's going on. I'm not sure if anyone went for that crate just now. Prolosco still alive with the silenced UMP in the school. And we have other team here. I believe all four of them decided to get back into some wheels. But I think the fight right here on the edge of the map Merlin will be uh, picking up his teammate, Marlo, from Feast of PUBG. <laughs> Classy name. He manages to get rid of 42 alive. This is uh, going to be intense. Aduzi's team seem to be fairly well set up and spread out. Louis Tim Campagne have two players remaining. A little bit of a height advantage for these apartment buildings. Hopefully, this will end in an open area. Otherwise, it will be everyone will be forced to go close quarters. Raid was uh, underwater. They're trying to pick up some shots with this suppressed car 98. Doesn't manage to tag Prokill. Prokill was down because he was knocked out earlier by some other. I think it was Rodney from a doozy's team from Vodka Bear team picking up that kill. And now we do have uh, this engagement coming in. A doozy is aware. There will be some players pushing in from the northeast. Ben going for a wide flank. This vehicle, Doozy, is uh, keeping a lookout. 
on him. We have a uh, hexagon esports trying to push up here. Taking out a dead body, very well done there, Pansardo. But unfortunately, gets taken out from behind from another player's. That is a uh, fear of the four, I believe. Yes, fear of the four just across from here, and I I don't think uh, crew can will survive this. We do have some suppressive fire coming in from the fear of the four guys. And that crate could bait someone. This fight is won on this side. It could belong to whoever wins the fight here on the western side. A uh, Prolosco baking a pizza inside the swimming pool. Sorry, Losco, but no snacks allowed in the swimming pool. He does have a crate right next to him, which he could potentially, um, you know, chance and go for. Seems to be clear for him, from uh, my perspective. I don't think anyone will tag him. A doozy's team here taken out. It's fat sip. Oh, that was a lovely shot from Raid from across the map almost. They're gonna, they've got Vegas Palace here pushing up, trying to stir up and force the team campaign to do something else. Oh no. Raid landing some MLG nades into there. Let's see with Black Friday. He does have an eye out on the staircase. They are in the circle, so they're in no rush right now. You have some fights happening in the south. I'm gonna try and push as uh, that circle will be coming out soon. A raid doing a, a little back out here, managing to survive with Tommy, the OG, OG Pepe's. The circle is now coming in to force these players out. Adducing his team are safe and sound. We do have a conflict here in the buildings. It is Rella who is gonna manage to stay out on this. Rella pushing in. Lineback, could he peek this door? Manages to take it out, but it's a down, so there's still one more player remaining. Is Rella the last surviving? Rella is the last, he's gonna pick up Lineback and Harspin, otherwise he's not in a good position. Decided to pick up the kills to get those extra points, because they do need it. They did not finish well in the previous round. I'll let them revive each other there, as we do have another battle going on right now. Just in this neighborhood, if I could just you know, click. We have Kusa. Here, Ven with a flashbang. M416. A doozy. Yeah, right. They hear the flashbang going off. Not sure. It's not looking good for Ven. A doozy knows where he is. They know exactly where he is. We have a doozy trying to peek over this fence by jump, jumping over. A doozy taking quite a bit of damage that they try and jump over this. Ven, could he? Pick up these kills. He's gonna go for a sneaky first aid. Hopefully, he might grab this. Then the last one from his team, knocking out Kawusa, holding down this wall, preventing Vodka Bear team from going on. And Ven is from team. Let's see. Oh, Voxic picking up Ven. That it leaves. Vodka Bear team to go on, and that was, uh, who was that? That was Drayton, I believe, or Voxic with the SKS. They're going to be running right across the field. Is Prolosco still alive? That is a question. Yes, he is. He does have the OG Pepe's coming into the building. Prolosco going to be waiting it out here. He has that full auto UMP suppressed to pounce onto Tommy Mixer if he does decide to steal a slice of Losco's pizza. We have Danson and Montrex. There it is. The circle's coming in. Postal's gonna have to move out of it. Stuflex. From Team Onob. Does get taken down. I don't think he's gonna survive here. The Pan coming in to save the life. He could get a revive. No, unfortunately not. Is Raid picking up that kill from the school. There's Losco trying to pick up Raid. Holding onto the last clutch. He does out dies outside the play zone. And there it is, a lot of players coming in. They are dying outside the play zone. This is it. We have Product NV from Fear the Four. That's the last one remaining. And it seems to be eight players alive. That is all. Kawusa and Vodka Bear team are all down. 
he could potentially go and revive it. Voxic is there. He does have this Kratos protection, and it seems to be a three team end right here. Montwix is down. Three teams remaining. Product. We got three of the four, other team, and I'm with Lanterns. Which I'm not sure uh, who they're, who, who, what, what team he's part of. <laughs> because I'm dead. <laughs> so I'm with Lanterns. Still alive with one kill. Five kills with Product and V. Three of the four. Doing quite well this round. And Linebeck and Rilla. Can they hold this? The Frenchies. They do have a guest in their building. I believe that is I'm with Lanterns. Do they know where he is? They're trying to pick and prod. Now, Rilla does not want to get stuck in this building. 26 seconds left before they have to move up to the next position. And if uh, Product has a good line of sight, which I believe he does on that building, it'd be fairly good. Smokes are being laid down. One of them unfortunately bounced off the crate. I'm going to try and push up to this rock right here. Rilla is taken out. I'm with Lanterns made to take a double kill there in the building, eliminating other team, but good job to them placing third place in this round. And Product Envy has perfect positioning here to deal with I'm with Lanterns. 2v1 situation. I'm with Lanterns blindly running up, taking the hits after hit, holding on with 5% health. Product and Vox is going to be lobbing grenades towards his feet there. There's one grenade to his right side, one on his left, a sandwich, and that is a win to Fear the Four. Second place taken out with uh, Team Onob, other team on third, uh, I believe, for Major Marlowe and his team coming in fourth, and OG Pepe's in fifth. And here we have the scoreboard. Sixth place to uh, Vodka Bear team. Uh, Ravens on the roof with 7th. We team campaign 8th. 9th. So there we have the Senate. Please feel free to clip this segment if you want to remember the team names. We'll be updating the scoreboard on the website as we progress. And uh, I think I can pull it up um, after the break if I manage to set things up clearly. We'll reveal it, we'll reveal it at the end of the round. There you go, guys. This is the end of today's round. Two, with one more to go. So there you have it, guys. Um, we're going to take another break to reset the server, get the players back into the lobby. Um, be sure to, you know, go stretch stretch your feet, get some coffee, get some drinks, get a, get a, get a ice-cold beverage down here, because we got one more round to go before we announce the winners of today's game. And, um... It's looking to be fairly exciting. One more round to go. And uh, yeah, feel free to follow all the information for today's playtest and to be involved in the next playtest on next Sunday. Check out all the information down below or ask one of the mods to link you or use one of the commands in the channel. Feel free to join our Discord to get involved with the conversation about adjusting PUBG to make it the ultimate, the ultimate competitive recipe. And uh, we'll be right back. So don't go anywhere. Seven minutes, eight minutes. We'll be right back. And uh, we'll wrap things up for the first playtest.